We come now to a portion of our service where we will confess our sins together corporately, and I'll give voice to that confession as I pray for us. And then there'll be a few moments for personal, silent confession of sin. And then I'll bring to us the promise of the gospel from 2 Corinthians. Let's go to the Lord together. Almighty God, we are unworthy to come into your presence because of our many sins. We do not deserve any grace or mercy from you if you dealt with us as we deserve. We've sinned against you, O Lord, and we've offended you. And yet, O Lord, as we acknowledge our sins and offenses, so also do we acknowledge you to be a merciful God, a loving and favorable Father to all who turn to you. And so we humbly ask you, for the sake of Christ, your Son, to show mercy to us and forgive us all our offenses. Forgive the sins of our youth and the sins of our old age. By your Spirit, O God, take possession of our hearts so that not only the action of our life, but also the words of our mouths and the smallest thought of our minds may be guided and governed by you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Our promise of the gospel this morning comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Hear the good news. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Brothers and sisters, Jesus has paid for all of our sins. In the eyes of our Father, the righteousness of Jesus has been credited to us. We stand fully restored. Amen.